Hello everybody, welcome to a new series that I am attempting to make, which is going to show you how to use Express through Node.js, of course, and we'll be building this like little question app. It will allow you to type in your name, then be greeted with like a dashboard from which where you can go to some questions, see their answers and whatnot. But without further ado, I am inside of Adam my terminal of choice. I assume you have one and I also assume you understand basic command line stuff which if you don't you should find out because it's awesome. Right now uh, I'm in my projects folder. Uh, I could get out of there and be in my desktop. List that stuff. See this is listing what's on my desktop. I could very well likely go to finder and go to my desktop and see the same folders that are showing up here. See I didn't have to go there. I could have just seen it all here. I'll learn command line. Uh, first let's go back into my projects. So now that I'm in there I want to make a directory or a folder called call it question app. Okay, now we can go into that folder. Now we're in there. Next, we want to do npm in it. Hopefully you guys know all about npm if you don't find out about it now. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does. But once you do npm in it, this thing builds a cool package JSON for you, which has a bunch of information about your app package name. We already said question app version 1.0.0 description a question app called question app index uh, app js my preference you could call it whatever banana js test command none get repo not today keywords question app author jose at moreno Sandoval, I guess. Throwing that whole name up in there. Is this okay? Yes. Clear. So, you guys are probably tripping out because you guys can't see any of that happening. But, if we open that folder, here it is. I could very well go to my finder. Find it there. I don't want to because it's there. Believe me. Clear. Next, we want to create that app.js file, which is our entry. How do we do that? We touch app js next we open atom app.js there it is next okay we want to install express so npm install express dash dash save this should save express into our package json so if we share our app with somebody they get this and then do an npm install and it'll install whatever's in our package json dependencies look what do you know back to app.js blank for express we need to do a const express and we installed it so let us require it so we can access it and then invoke it now we have access to the methods on it the functions we want to be able to listen on our server if you guys don't know about the HTTP request response cycle, I suggest you guys watch some quick videos for that. Basically, we're going to use our computer as a server. We're going to turn it on and tell it to listen at this port, which when your app is done, it's going to be pointing to your domain or whatever. But right now, we're just using our local computer to do it. So we're telling it to listen. Uh, we should probably put a message to know that it's on and whatnot. I kind of already forgot, but I'm thinking we're probably going to fail a little bit, but bear with me. Console log, I am clearly listening. Let's say listening. Oh, save, just so I know. Okay, it should be listening. To listen, we'll do node app.js. Oh man, it's already blowing up. Something's already in use, which means probably have something open. Let me check it out. Should be off. Let us see. It's listening now. So, now that it's listening, we can... Well, I'm going to show you, I guess, since everybody usually show this. 
So now that our server is listening on port 3000, we can go to local host 3000. Right now, we're going to probably get this error that says cannot get home route. It's trying to get this uh, root route, which really looks like that, but it can't get nothing. Why? Because we have not written any routes. We have not written what should even happen. But we do that by simply app dot get because this is a git route we'll learn about the other ones maybe a little bit later but probably not who knows anything can happen we do an app dot git home route because that's what we're defining and when we're there we're gonna do the callback or when somebody goes there is what I should say anyone rec res should probably tell you what these are request response it's usually normaler to do rec and res but no i already told you guys it's gonna bug me rec res there we go when somebody goes to the home route there's a request object we'll have access to as well as a response here we're going to use a response to render first i'll show you guys send which is just to send out some text hello so let us reset the server and I use control C I'm not sure what it is on Windows command or control either or to make your life easier npm install nodemon we won't have to be resetting our server do it globally if you guys are so daring if not dash dash save will suffice it's a dev dependency so dash dash save dash dev now we could just do nodemon. So it's clearly listening. So we should probably try going in here again. Hello. Uh, didn't want to say world because it's kind of played out, but you guys get it. We could also use JSON to send back JSON, but we're not going to do that. You guys can look that up on your own. We're doing render. We want to be able to render template or HTML, but we're going to be using pug, formerly known as Jade, which means we probably need to let me open up another one of these. Okay, npm install pug dash dash save. Definitely want to save that. We will now need to create our views folder. Also, do not forget my server is still running on another window. Here in our root folder, we're creating a new folder. I'm going to name it views, which will contain our views. In there, we will make our index.pug file. New file, index.pug. So now if we look in our views folder, index.pug is in there, which is great. We can now utilize it. If you guys aren't familiar with pug, everything kind of matters as, as far as the position of where everything is on your page. So it gets kind of annoying, but check it out. Doc type, HTML. Now we're pugging. HTML, parentheses, lang, quotes, English, boom. So everything gets nested in itself. So everything that we're going to nest should be indented. So in here would be a head, and what's inside our head? Title. We'll call it main page. And then body's outside. So there's body. Then within there, we have our h1 that we're going to say this will be the greatest ever. But then there we could do a paragraph or an H2. I'll do paragraph because that sounds cooler. Gates of darkness covered in light. That sounds good. Clear. So we got we got this now. Let's save that. We want to specify that we want to use this file I wonder where I would put that hmm we could probably just put index there but would that work wait index I'm telling it to render this file 
what could possibly go wrong? Path must be a stream received undefined. It seems to me something about path. I want to save because as you guys seen it wasn't saved. Now we go back. No default engine was specified. See that's actually the error I thought should have happened. And that's because we're not telling it that we need pug view engine pug we set our view engine here which allows us to use the awesomeness of pugs templating capabilities so we always also want to make sure to save we're up we're good if i come back over here let's see what happens <gasps> moment of truth wow we got it this will be the greatest ever. I think I'm going to stop it there. It took a good chunk of your guys' time, but in the next lesson, we will build this out to be something great that you guys can implement and do something awesome with, if you so chose. Till then.